Want to know oh. why you sneeze? Ooh. Yes. Let knowledge clear. <laughs> Ooh. Our breathing system has the nose, throat, windpipe, and lungs. When we breathe, air goes in through the nose and down to the lungs to give us oxygen. But the nose cleans the air and stops dust, pollen germs from getting into our body. When the nose detects something strange, its sensory cells send a signal to the brain. The brain then quickly tells the muscle in the nose and mouth to squeeze hard, pushing air out and carrying the harmful stuff away. When the nose detects something strange, your body reacts by sneezing to push them out. But if you sneeze a lot along with a runny nose, cough, or a mild fever, it could be a sign that you're catching a cold, the flu, or having an allergy. Your body keeps sneezing to get rid of the bacteria, try to attack through your nose and breathing system. If that happens, cleanse your nose, take medicine, and cover your sneeze to keep the germs from spreading. I got it! Ah, that's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Slow down, Lucy. Don't stub your mouth. Oh. You're joking! <laughs> What's happening to me? Your tummy's mad because you didn't chew your food properly. Oh. I'll tell you. Let knowledge clear. Inside your tummy is a special team called the digestive system. When you chew your food well, your speed helps make it soft so it can slide down your throat. Then it goes through a long tube and into your stomach. Your stomach squeezes and adds special juices to break the food down. Next, it moves to the small intestine where the food turns into nutrients. The nutrients travel all around your body to help you grow strong. And if you don't chew well, trouble's coming. If a bite of food is too big and go down without enough chewing, it can get stuck in your throat. Not only that, the big piece is hard to digest. Your stomach gets tired and doesn't make enough juice. So you feel full, sore, or hear funny tummy sounds. As a result, your intestines can get all the nutrients. That means even if you eat a lot, your body still doesn't get strong. Wow! Uh -oh. My tummy! I'll chew better and stop rushing my food from now on. Wow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell? Uh. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Bufo. I I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> Sounds like mm. your tummy has something to say. Oh. I'll tell you what it is. Mm. Let knowledge click. Hmm. When you eat, food goes into your tummy. Ah. There are millions of tiny helpful germs inside. Ah. <laughs> they work hard to break down food, ah. especially <laughs> things like beans, green veggies, or sweet potatoes. While working, the tiny germs also make gas. It's like bubbles rising when water boils in a pot. This gas slowly builds up inside your belly. Your body is super smart. When there's too much gas, your tummy pushes it out so it doesn't get bloated or hurt. And that's when you fart. When you try to hold it in, the gas keeps building up. Your tummy gets tight. 
it might hurt, and sometimes it just pops out. Like a balloon pumped up too much. Oh, wow. Actually, everyone farts. Grown ups, kids, even cats and dogs, everyone does it. It's how the body lets out extra gas to feel better. <laughs> Farting is normal, but remember to do it politely. Like going somewhere else, saying sorry if you surprise someone, and never laughing at a friend if they fart by accident. Why are you crying so much? Did you know why Lucy cries? Let knowledge click. Our eyes see things and send signal to the brain. When we feel strong emotions like fear or sadness, the brain reacts and tells the body how to respond. It sends signal to the tear glands, which make tears that flow out of your eyes. Tears aren't all the same. In our eyes, there are actually three types of tears. First, there are basal tears, like little bodyguards that keep our eyes moist and clean every day. Second, reflex tears. They show up quickly when something like dust, onions, or wind bothers your eyes to wash it away. <laughs> And finally, emotional tears, like Lucy's just now. They appear when we feel really sad, happy, or deeply moved. Can you guess why babies cry so much? Um, I'm not sure. Babies can talk yet, so crying is their way of communicating. Like when they're hungry, or need a diaper change. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to cough anymore. Don't hold it, your cough, sweetie. It's okay to let it out. <laughs> I'll explain why, kid. Let knowledge click. When something bothers your throat, like dust, smoke, germs, or mucus, your brain gets the signal and tells a little flap in your throat to close. Then your chest and belly muscle push air out super fast. That helps clear out the bad stuff and keeps your lungs and throat clean. But if you hold in your cough, the dirt and germs can get stuck inside and make you see. And if you hold it too long, the trap air can even hurt parts inside your body. Remember, when you need to cough, you can cover your mouth with a tissue, then throw it in the trash. What if I need to cough but don't have a tissue? Huh? Can you guess? What should you do if there's no tissue when you need to cough? A. Hold it in and try not to cough. B. Cough into your elbow. C. Shout so everyone knows you're about to cough and runs away. Hmm. Huh? Cough into your elbow. We should cough into our elbows, not our bare hands. So we don't spread germs. Let's try it. <laughs> if Whoa. you keep coughing for days, tell an adult so they can take you to the doctor. Yes! Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.